Welcome to this video. My name's Steve Bartlett. I am a technical marketing engineer supporting CX switching. And this is a software improvement called Copy Support Files Locally. It's a new feature that we introduced for 10.07 and it's applicable to all CX platforms. So prior to 10.07, we could always copy support files across the network or even to a USB device on that local switch. Um, we could use TFTP or SFTP servers from the switch uh, or the USB device. But if there was a connectivity issue across the network or with the end server, sometimes the support files could not be copied across at that particular time and could be lost um, if the customer was under pressure to reboot the switch or the impacted switch. So engineering did have a workaround for it in the past and they called it the fake USB. But this is a, uh, an undocumented and unsupported process, process effectively and could be relatively time consuming because it was ad used on an ad hoc basis. So this feature provides a proper solution to preserve the support files locally should that be a preferred or desired method for storing until such a time that we've got the network available or a connectivity to the remote server. So the command is very straightforward, copy support files, and then we get the option now, and the new syntax that we can use is local file. So all these other syntax using SFTP or TFTP options were always there. The storage URL using USB is still there, and we've got the option still of all feature, etc. So we can still use those, but we've now got this new local file to copy the support file to. And the local file name is actually called local hyphen file as we see it presented. So some of the uh, syntax examples. So if we wanted to copy some support files, copy support files, we've got the option of all. And then we've got the local file. Or we could specify a particular feature as I've done here. Copy support files feature LLDP local file then it kicks off the collection process and you can see the output here and it tells you where it is at any one particular point attempting to copy and then when it's done it gives you the confirmation that it's done if we wanted to transfer this over to a tftp from a to a tftp or an sftp server this is the syntax very straightforward copy support files we use the actual name, local hyphen file, and our target server address either using TFTP or SFTP, and obviously the file that we want to preserve at the remote end on the server. So if you have a file transfer failure, this is what it would look like. So here I've kicked off a copy support files TFTP server ID and the target um, file ID, collection in progress, it goes through its sequence, then it's attempting to copy across the network, but it's hit an error for some reason. Network is unreachable, unre but then it gives us this option now, do you want to preserve this collection in the local file, yay or nay, or yes or no, and obviously selecting yes, and then support files are preserved successfully, the local file is done, and it confirmed you. So now, we can copy this file across at a local local time, local convenient time for the admin network admin when the network is now available. So some limitations, caveats and operation. So if we've got some modular switching and we want to preserve the local file, it is preserved when we kick over to the run redundancy management module, it, the file is synchronized to this module. So that's a, a good thing to have and good thing to know. It is preserved after a reboot. So if the reboot, we don't lose it, that's good. We obviously wanted that. And this one here, only one instance of the support file package will be, will be preserved locally. So basically, if you create another one, it will overwrite the previous instance of the support file package because it's having the same name. 
Now this one is an important thing to note. Copy to local storage will fail if we don't have sufficient storage available in the system. Now it may appear that we've got enough storage available on our flash or whatever storage mechanism that we're using, but we do need to have the appropriate amount of available storage of available for CX OS upgrades. So we may look like we've got enough available, but if we copy that local file over to the storage and it, eat, it eats up into the storage area for the, the OS CX, um, obviously the, the CX upgrade will fail. So we can't have that. So basically it will fail if it does, if it does actually impact the CX storage for upgrades. So another one, copy support files, local file command cannot be run in parallel on multiple SSH sessions. Well, this is quite practical. So effectively that means, you know, if you've got two sessions in a particular switch, only one of them will be allowed to kick off the support file, local file command. And as you've seen, options to preserve the support files locally in case of remote connection failure. We've seen that in the slide example. That's all I had in this short video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.